Thinking about running your own Plex media server, but want something a little more turnkey without all the command line hassle? Well, this video is for you. Welcome back to Mackie Tech. So a few weeks ago, I started a short series showing how to set up media servers like Plex, MB, and Jellyfan on Windows. And today I'm circling back, but this time we're doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be setting up Plex in Docker in under four minutes with a simple SH script. And this isn't going to be my usual style of video, but it's fast, clean, and a smarter long-term setup. So for today's setup, I'm running a fresh install of Linux Ubuntu 24.04.2 on a virtual machine on VirtualBox with four gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of storage. And my media content is on my Ugreen NAS, the uh, DXP 6800 Pro. The VM host is a Minus Forum UM890 Pro, which I will link in the description. And we are talking to the VM via SSH on Windows PowerShell. By the way, if you're new here and you need a refresher on setting up Ubuntu VM or using VirtualBox, I've linked a couple of quick videos in the description. Just make sure you subscribe so you stay plugged in. All right, let's see if we can get this up and running in under four minutes. We'll start the timer, we'll tweak the script for our NAS setup, run it, and then I will break down exactly how it works step by step. Let's dive in. Okay, we are starting the timer now. So first we'll open the script with a sudo nanoplex-install.sh and we'll go down and type in NAS for our mode. And beneath that, we'll put in our NAS IP address and then our username and password. The NAS file is fine and the default time zone for Chicago is also fine. And then we'll open a browser, go to plex.tv forward slash claim and hit enter. And then we'll copy the claim number to our clipboard. Paste in with control V, save it again and exit with control X. Now we need to make the script executable with sudo chmod plus x plex dash install dot sh and then we'll run it with dot forward slash plex dash install dot sh and hit enter. All right, so we're gonna speed this up just a bit because this isn't that exciting, but uh, make sure to watch the timer, so keep me honest. Okay, about three minutes and 25 seconds, which uh, isn't too shabby. That's well below four minutes. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that Plex has started and it gives us a URL, which includes the default port number of 32400 slash web, which we'll use uh, in a second here to go to the server. So first I want to check if my NAS media folders were mounted correctly in Linux. So, so let's clear this line and then we'll go down a few returns and we'll type ls mn oops ls forward slash mnt plex dash media hit enter blu-ray dvd home movies tv shows that's exactly right that's those are the the main media folders for my nas if you set this up locally the command would be ls forward slash, always remember that forward slash, home, your username, forward slash, media, and then hit enter, and it should list your, uh, your movies. Okay, so now that Plex server is installed, let's go ahead and add our media libraries. So now let's go into our GUI virtual machine here on Ubuntu, and we'll open a browser and navigate to localhost which is our VM, which is this VM machine, and then dot or colon 3240 slash web, and we log in. First, we'll click add library, and then we'll choose our media type. In this case, we'll just select movies. You can rename it if you'd like. Next, click on browse for media folder. On the left side, you'll click the slash data folder. This is the mount point, whether your media is on a a NAS, a network drive, or on external storage. Once you're inside the slash data folder, you'll see all the media folders that were mounted, which are the same ones we saw before in the terminal. If you want a more complete walkthrough on organizing libraries, customizing your Plex settings, and more, I've got a full Plex setup video linked in the description. I'll also list the media paths that the script created in the instructions, which I'll link in my free Patreon tier. 
Now let's go ahead and walk through how we actually got this script working from start to finish. Okay, so if we want to edit the script, we'll do a sudo nano plex dash install dot sh, enter our password, and here we are. So you don't have to be a programmer to understand uh, how this script works. I'm just gonna go over a couple of basic things. Or you'll notice in general that you might have these little uh, hashtags next to some of these line items. And these are what are called comments. And anything after the hashtag, the script ignores. They're handy because they provide uh, a good outline and explain what each part of the script does and helps you follow along more easily. The only exception is this first line. You'll see it has a, a hashtag and an exclamation point. That is what's called a shebang. It's a, a derived from the old Linux community and you don't want to mess with this line. You don't want to move it. You don't want to do anything with it. it essentially, it tells what the system, which interpreter to use, in this case, bash. Um, so we don't want to mess with that. Beneath that, you'll come to the comment for begin config, which is where you'll modify the script for your setup. If your media is located on a NAS or maybe a network drive, you want to type in where it says mode here, you want to type in local, or excuse me, you want to type in NAS if your system is on a, a network drive or a NAS. And then you put in your IP address as I have here, you want to be very, very careful not to have a space like this. And that's explained in our comments to the right here. Make sure there's no space because that will, that'll jack things up. So make sure there's no space in there. And then you want to make sure that the NAS share is correct. In other words, where are, what folders are the movies or media in on your NAS or your network attached storage? And also you put in your username and password. If you do not have credentials, if this is a network drive you use and you don't use credentials, just keep these with a space between the quotes like this and it will ignore it. Uh, lastly, you want to also make sure that the SMB version is correct. Mine is 3.0. Your, yours might be 2.1, might be 2.0. You want to check that with your uh, settings on your NAS or your hardware. If your media is on a connected external device to your server, just type in local and then it'll ignore all of the stuff for the, for the NAS. You don't have to worry about any of this as if it, your storage is local. And you'll see here is the folder that it mounts to. So here is where you're gonna put in your, your Plex claim number that you're gonna need. So you go to plex.tv forward slash claim in any browser. And then you copy this to your clipboard and then you paste it right in here. And then make sure that your time zone is correct. Mine is Chicago. I will leave a link in the description with all the different uh, time zones for the Docker containers. So from here, we want to do a control O to save it. And the rest of the script, I'll just run through real quick. Here is where it installs Docker, Docker Compose. We have a comment that tells us that. And it grabs the certificates and it installs the, uh, the Docker Compose plugin here, and then it starts Docker. And then here is where it assigns all of the permissions to Docker. This is the Docker Compose. So you can see here where it starts the Docker Compose in this comment. Interestingly, here is the slash data mount that we saw before when we were setting up the libraries. So this is gonna be different than the mounts we saw before for the Linux. Just kind of keep that in mind. but. Whenever you're mounting within Docker or whenever you're setting up libraries within your Docker with this script, you always want to use slash data. So give it another quick save with control O and then exit and you're done. So now we're going to go ahead and make the script executable. When you download it from my GitHub, it's not going to be executable yet. So you want to make sure we do that. So we're going to do a chmod space plus X is an X-ray space and then type in plex.install.sh and then hit enter and then to run it you do a dot forward slash plex dash install dot sh and then hit enter 
And that's it, it should run, you should be good to go. As mentioned, I'll leave a direct link to my public GitHub repo in the free tier on Patreon. Inside you'll find the install script to get Plex running on Docker, a readme setup guide with instructions, and the exact curl command to download and run the script right inside the terminal. And that's going to wrap up this tutorial on setting up Plex in Docker. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and sharing a comment. As always, make sure you click subscribe if you're new here and to check out these other two media server tutorials before you run. Thanks again for watching and we'll be talking to you again very soon.